What's up YouTube? Nico just got revealed for Legends of Terra. As you may know, unfortunately, all the cars from this expansion were already leaked by Riot, but there are still voice lines and level up animations to react to, so you can expect more videos from me. Speaking of which, most people who watch my videos aren't subscribed, so if you like this type of content, consider subscribing to my channel. So, let's see. Huh, I don't remember seeing a Twilight amongst the other creatures. What is it doing here? Wait a minute, something's not right here. Could it be? Oh ho ho, she's good, she's very good, huh? As you can see, this is not Nico. This is a Twilight Protector, which is a follower from another set. And in case you didn't know, Riot has been running this kind of promotional thing where they release a puzzle and then uh, people can decipher this puzzle and get a code and with that code they can get like a preview teaser of one of the next cards. And one of these teasers was of Twilight Protector. And this was really confusing because, as I said, these are supposed to tease new cards and as you'll see, it this isn't actually Twilight Protector. So let's watch Niku's trailer and you'll understand. They, they even put it in the title Twilight Protector, new champion. Hides in plain sight. Yep, it wasn't actually Twilight Protector, it was Nico. Ha, huh, you've been tricked. Now let's see, you may put bird, cat, dog, hellnook, fey, reptile and spider followers into your deck during deck building. Interesting, so it's basically all the animal subtypes, right? Origin, many shaped jungle friends. This is also interesting because when, when the first Runeterra champions came out, most if not all of them had their League of Legends title as the origin, as their Runeterra origin. But now they are uh, kind of creating new titles for that, instead of using the League of Legends titles. You may disguise me as one of three two-cost followers from my origin. From her origin? So... From one of the cards that you put in your deck, I assume? And what is this, guys? No, we don't know. You've attacked with allies that have six plus different subtypes. Okay. And she's a shapeshifter, huh? Oh, I see. So, I assume these were all in her deck at the start. So, when you play Nico, you can choose to play her as Nico or as one of these three followers. Oh, this effect is really cool. I wonder if the enemy can also see it. That was... What was this effect? What is this? Hmm. I mean, it's interesting that the cat, since the cat can summon, yeah, manifest a floor that has a different subtype than allies in play. So it can technically summon elites and weapon masters, that's funny. And in this case, I also got the sea monster, like, okay. Oh, and when, when you attack with her, she transforms back. Huh. So you basically... Okay, before reacting to the level of animation. So you basically want to transform her into allies that have either like a play effect or an aura effect of some kind. Because when she's attacked, she's going to lose that. Okay. She's their ultimate, that's cool. This is the same background that they use for Nidali. Which is nice. 
and I believe you can even see yeah you can even see the cages here that's pretty cool I wonder if you can put like the two next to each other let your heart dance also I didn't even see what, what she does when she level up Attack, grant allies that have a subtype everywhere, plus one, plus one. Everywhere? Okay. Nico missed the Middle East so much. You must be so strong surviving all on your own. I am not alone, child. Be a good beast and get back in your cave. I like the interactions. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Wait, how did Nidalee evolve? Oh, it, because she also evolves with Summon, right? That's it. Yeah, yeah, Niku seems interesting. I really like the fact that you can basically copy another ally's like play effect like in that in the case of this video she copied the daybreak from the twilight protector i think that's a really you know that's really interesting also it can be one or oh no, okay just two cost followers okay i'm sure some people are going to make a tier list of what two cost followers uh from an origin actually are actually good because for example you have like the deck hunter she can transform into the deck hunter manifest another follower uh she can transform into the spider in the web spinner and you know create her uh, activate her play effect uh, so yeah this is very very cool nick seems cool i definitely want to play her with warden of the tribes and yeah i think that's it Just really cool artwork. So yeah, that was it for Nico. I'll see you guys in the next video.